this is Jen with Ramshackle Homestead with Keith and Jen. We're going to talk about the catch water system that's on this cabin here. Um, I wanted to do this part of it because when I was a teenager, my dad had built basically a cabin and then eventually a house on an island in Alaska. That's where I'm originally from. And I always felt like it was something that I could do, even though I had no experience in plumbing. I just felt like if my dad could do it, surely I can do it. Um, wasn't that easy by any means. Um, I love books. So, you know, I, I've got a lot of books from the library, you know, looking on the internet and stuff that that's helpful too. Um, but I'm, I love books cause I could go back and over and over again and see the pictures and have it right there as I'm working. So that helped a lot too. Um, but the, the hardest thing coming to grips was, was that it was a lot more difficult than what I thought. And after about, I don't know, maybe two dozen, three dozen trips to various uh, home improvement plumbing stores, uh, did I was I able to get everything that I needed. Uh, it was a, a lengthy process, and um, but fulfilling. And I told myself that if, um, if I couldn't do this, I was just gonna give up. But it, it turned out okay. Like I said, it did take a long time, but it was worth it. And basically plumbing is just cutting and gluing stuff. No, it's not, it's not just that. I mean, there's the whole getting under the house and with the spiders and all that stuff too. And a lot of measuring, a lot of trying to figure out what parts go with what, you know, when you're doing the fittings, um, you know, for, for this, it was pretty simple. Actually, you know, if you have a roof and gutters and somewhat decent amount of rainfall you can do this too uh, it's not used for drinking water it's just basically for um, there's a toilet a sink and a shower that's being uh, supplied water by this water catchment system uh, it's super simple and um, kind of go through the main parts of it so the first step in the in the system here is where the water comes off the roof into the gutter and there's a mesh insert in there, um, kind of like a piece of foam-ish, got a lot of holes in it, uh, instead of a gutter guard or a screen. Uh, water goes into there, I just use regular PVC because the water catchment system's not for drinking water, it's just uh, to supply a sink, shower, and a toilet. Um, so it just goes along there, I've got a strap, you know, various things to hold it on in place, and that's, that's a simple part of it. So not very far from where the rain comes into the system, uh, I've got this first flush diverter set up. Um, what it does is the water, you know, when it first starts raining, comes in here, and as it fills up, there's a ball, and it'll rise up. So when this chamber is full, the ball will stop, or you know, go against like a gasket, and the rest of the water will flow through onto its destination. That just helps kind of keep more debris and sediment and stuff out that we don't want. And then it slowly releases through this, this little valve and I could hook a little hose to it. So, it, you know, you can have it go somewhere, but I just, it's not that much. So it just drips down. Oh, just got another 90 degree elbow and this little doohickey. I kind of, you know, improvise and stuff as, as we have things. I already had this. So I just bought this connection. Um, you know, I could have done rigid all the way there, but I was like, hey, we might as well utilize this. Um, gets the job done and straight into the tank. So this is our IVC, it's the catchment tank. We got it from a winery, but there's a lot of locations where you can get these from and uh, price ranges of all sorts, I'm sure. Um, we will eventually enclose it so the sun does, sunlight doesn't get to it. Um, don't really want to paint it black, but we're gonna do something you know, with insulation because this is out in the weather and we don't want it to freeze. Uh, might need to put um, a tank heater in it. Eventually, we'll, we're just gonna cross that bridge as it gets there. Uh, so the fittings are, are the trickiest part to try to come up with. And this right here is just a big clip that goes on the, um, the, the port right here. And we got a couple of reducers until we reduce it to three fourths of an inch because that's what um, the filter inside is, is two, so that's how that works. And now we're inside to check out uh, what kind of shenanigans we got going on with the with it coming in the house. Um, 
so I just drilled a hole, basically got the pipe through, um, got a couple shut off valves in here. That's what the direction said for this particular um, filter. This isn't super high speed. It just gets out sediment. And I think I might have got one step up or some chlorine, you know, removal, but nothing too fancy. Um, of course, another shut off valve. And then that's where we reduced it onto super special pump there on demand pump. Uh, from Amazon actually we'll try to figure out how to how to put the link on there but it just um, runs off a of battery so it's pretty simple but it gets the job done so here we are in one of the destinations of the of the catch water the shower showers awesome uh, and not that I don't like washing out of a bucket or or a cup or a bowl or a wash tub. I mean, all that's great, but this is, this is awesome. So anyway, we've got it coming in here, uh, supply line. This is a propane um, little on-demand water heater. It is, it rocks. Um, and then of course, well, it's got a couple shut off valves just cause it's, it's easier to like that, but it just goes like, well, get it. And it fires up and it is super hot I mean and the temperature is all the way down right now of course when it gets colder out and the, the inlet water is going to be a little bit colder it'll probably use more propane but right now it doesn't use hardly any at all uh, we used a this is like a store-bought shower kit but we ended up not using the whole thing just the the floor part of it because the walls aren't necessarily something that are square and plumb, so we kind of had to improvise. And so we got this, uh, you know, we just had this stuff laying around from other st other projects. Uh, used a cement backer board, you know, for the moisture, but otherwise everything's pretty straightforward. Like you see, this is um, treated right here and got a little cedar trim around the top, but other than that, it was pretty simple and fairly cheap. So we got about $300 roughly in, in this whole system. Uh, didn't have to pay, you know, an exorbitant amount for the tank, but you can obviously. But what's what cost the most was the on-demand uh, water heater and then the on-demand pump uh, that we got off Amazon. The, the water heater was from eBay actually. And the pump from, but it's a 12 volt on-demand water pump from Amazon. Everything else was, you know, from local, hardware stores and uh, home centers. So, you know, if, if I can do it, surely most people can do it. You just gotta be really determined. And I mean, I was, because if not, I was just, I was just gonna give it up. Everything, just go live in a hole somewhere. Julian, the one-eyed kitty found me again. Oh, uh, and please check us out and follow us and like us on Instagram and Facebook ramshackle homestead with keith and jen and also we'll try to get out videos pretty regularly i know we missed last week but but here we are and tell tell your friends so you can do a water catchment system like us thanks <laughs>